Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Sunday. This past week, some people in my family who I love very, very much had their dog die unexpectedly. I also loved their dog very, very much, and so it's been a sad week for all of us. And that got me thinking about what the Bible has to say about sadness and about crying in particular. And so I'd like to share a few verses with you about that this morning. The first one is from the very shortest verse in the whole Bible. It's from John chapter 11, verse 35, and it reads, Jesus wept. And Jesus wept as he stood at the grave of his good friend Lazarus, right before he got ready to raise him from the dead. But before he did, Jesus stood there and he wept. And I don't understand all the reasons why Jesus wept, but I believe that one of them is because that death grieves his heart and makes him sad, just like it makes us sad. But the good news is that that's not the end of the story. So I'd like to read to you another verse, and I'd like you to listen to this this morning because it's God's word to you and to me. I'll be reading from the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 4. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither, there, neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. Boys and girls, the same Jesus who wept at the grave of his friend is the same one who will wipe the tears from our eyes. Because someday we have a promise that there will be no more dying, and no more sadness, and no more pain. And that's what we have to look forward to. That's good news for us this morning, boys and girls. I love you, I miss you this morning, and I hope all of you have a wonderful Sunday.